Diamond is a remarkable material. It's very strong, very hard. It has superlative properties in terms of its transparency, its uh, strength, its electron mobility, and so on. Well, we discovered a few years ago that you could make diamond, single crystal diamond, from methane gas at, at very, very low pressures. And we came to this problem because we needed diamond for our research. I do primarily high pressure experiments using diamond anvil cells where I use carbon as the anvil in a diamond to generate high pressures and temperatures and then study the materials in those apparatus. We need diamond because it's very strong. We need a better diamond that then can be accommodated or obtained from Mother Earth. So we started making it ourselves. We make diamond by starting with methane gas or some carbon containing gas. Put it in a plasma or form a plasma with hydrogen. We have a substrate or a seed of diamond. And if you tune or adjust the pressures and temperatures just right in the plasma containing the carbon, you can grow a single crystal of diamond. And we've perfected this process over the years, and now we can make quite large diamonds on the order of 10 carat diamonds, beautiful gem diamonds that are used for science. Most diamond from the earth is impure diamond and also very weak diamond. It's not strong because of defects. For example, the Hope Diamond, which is one of the most famous diamonds on the planet, a beautiful diamond, it's actually very weak and it's full of boron. It's blue, which makes it pretty, but it's not a, a transparent gem. We can grow diamond that has a range of properties, depending on the impurities you put in or the different species you put in, depending on how fast you grow it, the temperature of the growth. You can change the properties over a very, very wide range. So uh, on one end, you can produce very, very pure gem quality diamond that's purer than most diamond that comes out of the planet. On the other end, you can make diamond that has other properties. It can be stronger or at least tougher than conventional diamond or diamond from the earth or diamond made in other ways. We think that ultimately diamond will replace a lot of materials that are used in, in electronics, in, in optics, and so down the road, we think that large-scale production of diamond single crystal could revolutionize computers, uh, sensors, laser technology, a variety of other kinds of applications. I'm Russell Hemley. I'm the director of the Geophysical Laboratory of the Carnegie Institution of Washington.